In this video, we're going to talk about complications of diabetes. Hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia. This is when the blood glucose level is under 70 milligrams per deciliter. Causes will be excessive insulin, skipping or decreasing food intake, exercise, excessive alcohol consumption. Signs and symptoms, hunger, irritability, confusion, diaphoresis, headache, shakiness, blurred vision, pale, cool skin, decreased level of consciousness that could progress into a coma. Nursing care. For a conscious patient with a blood glucose level of under 70, you can give them 15 grams of readily absorbable carbohydrates, which can be half a cup of juice or soda or an eight ounce cup of milk. Then recheck the glucose intervals in 15 minutes. If it's still below 70, give them another 15 grams. And when the blood glucose is above, give the patient a snack that contains both protein and carbohydrates for maintenance. With an unconscious patient, you give them glycogen, either IM or subcutaneously. If the patient does not regain consciousness within 10 minutes, give them another dose of glycogen. Once the patient has regained consciousness and can safely swallow, safe is the key word here, you can then provide them with a snack. DKA, diabetes ketoacidosis. This is a life-threatening diabetic complication that causes increased blood glucose levels as well as ketones in urine. It's more common to diabetes type 1. Risk factors, infection, illness, stress, untreated or undiagnosed type 1 diabetes. Signs and symptoms, the three Ps, which are polydipsia, polyphagia, and polyuria, weight loss, fruity breath order, cosmo respirations, dehydration, hyperglycemia, metabolic acidosis, hypokalemia, hyponitrine, hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia, and hypophosphatemia. And with the labs, we'll have an elevated blood glucose level of over 300. Ketones will be present in the urine. The patient will be under metabolic acidosis and will have hyper Kalemia. Treatment. Identify and treat the underlying cause of the complication. Administer fluids and insulin. Check blood glucose level hourly. HHS. Hyperglycemia hyperosmolar state. The, the patient will have high levels of glucose as well as severe dehydration. It has a gradual onset most common with type 2 diabetes. There is enough insulin to reduce ketosis, but not enough to control hyperglycemia. Causes older age, adequate fluid intake, decreased kidney function, infections, and stress. Signs and symptoms. Hyperglycemia. With hyperglycemia, we're going to have polydipsia, polyphagia, and polyuria. Dehydration. Signs and symptoms for dehydration are hypotension, tachycardia, seizure, weak pulse, headache, and weakness, as well as hyperosmolarity. Labs. The blood glucose level will be over 600, no ketones in blood and urine, and no metabolic acidosis present. Dawn phenomenon. Dawn simply refers to the early morning. At this time, the body will increase the blood sugar in preparation for the body to get up. However, with insulin problems, this increase in blood glucose can cause hyperglycemia. The typical time this happens is between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. Treatment, the patient might need a nighttime dose of NPH, which is intermediate acting insulin, to counterreact this complication. Simoji effect. This is a drop in blood glucose at the early hours of the morning. This is when the body releases hormones such as cortisol and growth hormones to increase the blood glucose level. However, in diabetics, the body cannot cope with the increase in blood glucose and the sugar will be elevated. This normally happens between 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. The treatment for this is to eat a bedtime snack as close as possible to bedtime and they can be given insulin. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next one. Bye.